last 10 invoices module. Now we have to write the module that displays the last 10 invoices by date so that the company can uh, view what were the last 10 invoices generated. We'll now create this module. We'll start coding for this one. The output will re resemble like this. That is last 10 invoices, report, invoice number, consignee, order date, product, amount. This is ordered by date descending. So we have to actually write code for this one. Uh, so we have to add, uh, if we see the scheme, then the scheme will be as simple as that when the user clicks this menu, last 10, when he clicks this one, he'll be taken, uh, uh, this will be trapped by an action method and the data will report will be passed to a view and that view will display the entire report. This means we have to now determine, uh, decide on what will be the name of the action method and to which controller it will go. So once we have the action method and the controller where it will go, we will query the database here and pass the report to this view and then we will add the view and that will complete this module. So our immediate uh, problem is to find out where to add this action method and what will be the name of the action method. The best guide is this last 10 action me uh, menu. We'll go to this menu and see what controller and what action we wrote there when we were preparing this menu partial. And from there we'll get the names of the controller and the action. Come to the solution explorer. ADM and menu. And here it is. Show last 10 invoices in the invoice controller. We have to add an action method by the name show last 10 invoices. So this is our invoice controller and towards the end we'll write the code for the action method. Here we'll write the code. We can start typing it. So this will be our controller uh, action method show last 10 invoices return view and we have to return a list of uh, order objects which will display in the table what are the fields that we need to display we can have a look at it here we have to show the invoice number this will be available in the TBL order order date amount these three will be available in the TBL order consignee will be from the navigation property for the TBL user and this will be product name will be from the navigation property for the TBL products so this means we need to have TBL product and TBL user also included in the TBL orders then it is order by descending on order date and taking the top 10 converting this to list return view list and then we'll have to add the view right click add view click enter and here we have to start typing the view code so first of all we'll have to add that model model
dot tbl order now once the model is there then it is a simple thing of just putting the cshtml okay we need to change it into i enumerable because it will be a collection that will be coming to us something is wrong either i misspelled it i enumerable okay now we'll type the code here so we are typing it invoice number consignee order date this will be the header for the table and amount then we'll type for each this will be the this will display the invoice number we are also uh, showing an action link so that uh, we can search for that customer by using by clicking that link it will display the name of the customer but it will be an action link that will send the email to search parameter to search customer action method of the index uh, index method of the search customer uh, controller uh, let me carry you to this one search customer controller here email to search so basically we'll be facilitating the search also if it's still not clear then this is showing the id and this will sh show the name name will be hyperlinked so that uh, while viewing the report if somebody wants to see the details of this customer then you can click on this one to reach the search page to view everything about the customer this trick is very helpful for a well written project that allows navigation from one module to the other module this will not display the order date formatted by the indian style because we put the annotation there on order date that annotation where we put entity models here this is the one that it will pick from here then the product name and then the invoice amount amount it will be shown here so with this uh, our uh, cshtml code is completed and it was fairly easier to do now let us run it and see whether our project has this module working correctly or not last 10 invoices and here we go we have everything the invoice number the order date the product the amount click on this one this actually takes us to the details of the customer where you can add it new invoice or add it and in this way the functional modules of this project have been all set up and this is a complete working mbc project now what we have to do is we have to add the sign out module and then we'll see how to wrap this project into a uh, working Uh, a presentable project with all the html and templatized templatized from html template so we'll close it right now thanks